Good morning, faithful Good morning. viewers. We are in Kona, Hawaii, and I'm Krister. And I'm Miji. And this is our update video for the month of May. Mm -hmm. uh, over the past uh, few weeks, I have been doing a lot of preparing and teaching. I just uh, finished this past week teaching in the School of Biblical Studies and doing the book of 2 Corinthians. And uh, before that, I did the first week of the Discipleship Bible School, teaching through Genesis and Exodus, mm -hmm. and then did a week of teaching in the Restorers Discipleship Training School on the overview of the Bible as well as inductive study methods. And I have been doing a number of other teachings during that time, but those have been really the prime highlights. Uh, God has moved in amazing ways and really set people on fire for the Word of God. And that has really been the testimony, is people are falling in love with Jesus, knowing Him, and uh, sharing about Him with others. Uh, because of what they found in the Word and how uh, He wants us to make Him known. And so uh, it's been a glorious few weeks uh, teaching and preparing to teach. Uh, spent a lot of time preparing Second Corinthians and just got to deliver a lot of really good application, uh, especially in the realm of generosity and uh, laying our own lives down. And uh, to be generous as Jesus was generous and for all of us to continue to be generous uh, because we see that with Jesus first. So that's been what I've been doing primarily, as well as continuing with studying, setting up teaching, all the stuff that we've been talking about in our past videos. Um, we are running another Bible question and response this Tuesday and are continuing with Bible studies and everything. So uh, a lot of the same old, same old, but God has been uh, really, the testimony has been people have uh, really found Jesus through the word of God and just have known from uh, the Restorers school that I taught in, uh, specifically a, a couple of people had never known the entire story of the Bible, hadn't known how it all fits together, and that helped them to see specifically mm -hmm. how God um, has been the same and how he continues to desire a relationship with us. And so that's really been the testimony from those schools and from Restorers specifically. So mm -hmm. let me just share what she's been up to and then a word of encouragement for you all. Yeah, so I've been doing, uh, keep working with quarter point to help schools to run this quarter and a lot of, doing a lot of communications with school leaders and the staff. Um, yeah, I'm learning a lot. God is stretching me a lot in the area of communication and to uh, work with people, like different people, giving uh, for my character to be grow a lot, to have more patience and grace. Uh, tours to people and so uh, also today we had a YWAM uh, ladies brunch with Darlene Cunningham uh, co-founder with uh, Lauren Cunningham of the YWAM and then it was such an amazing time that we had a privilege to gather with this woman the group of women who follow the Lord with faith and obedience and uh, she was speaking on one thing um, about that we are called for nations mm. and what are you having, what are you packing in your suitcase when you go to nations and then it was really great that she was uh, bringing out this, all these items uh, for example like of, uh, like the glasses and say how visions we need to see what God has called us you know visions to see uh, his heart and this uh, headphones and you we always be tuned with the Holy Spirit and this com this uh, uh, pillow that you know, we always have to have this dependency on the Holy Spirit and then uh, then she was saying also uh, uh, what was it <laughs> sorry I am um, yeah and then uh, she said that that uh, yeah those messages were really truly uh, inspired all of us to uh, truly walk in the fear of the Lord into uh, what God has called us to in our daily walk and that was truly a great message today to be reminded of and to examine our heart where we are at with the Lord and so um, also one more thing that she said actually are you feeling burning out then you're not you have to check your calendar and to see um, your schedule because you probably are doing what God is you what 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 he's not called you to do and so you're overdoing something that is that he's not called you to do so that was also really like awakening kind of thing for me amen. So that was really great amen 
Well, intimacy and obedience to Jesus will keep you from burning out. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. That's a good word. What are you packing in your suitcase? Mm -hmm. What are you bringing along with you? A vision, dependency on the Spirit. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you all for uh, listening and keeping up to date with uh, what's going on in our lives. As always, we love the prayers and we're so thankful that uh, for all of you who are praying for us and uh, who are helping to um, propel us to see the kingdom advanced here um, through giving and supporting us. So thank you so much. Have a wonderful day and until next time. Bye-bye.